Good evening, folks. We're back at Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And guess what? The year is 1914. It's January. And I've managed to develop radar. It was a lot of fun, needless to say. Took a lot of uh, investment. The reason I did this was to make a point. I've been talking about ISR and how Ukraine has significantly superior um, ISR information, surveillance, and reconnaissance assets. And people have been saying, but Russia has all these satellites and all this stuff, and but this and but that. The problem is that what people aren't seeing is that a lot of this stuff is not usable assets. When I say it's not usable, obviously, knowing from satellite where there's a troop buildup helps. The point is that the average soldier on the line doesn't have access to it, not real-time access. You have, you're getting up to general staff level before you get getting that sort of access. They just don't have the capabilities to provide it to the on-the-ground soldiers. That's why drones are so important. That's why stuff like radar was so important. I kept talking to people about the Battle of Cape Matapan in World War II, where a, a British task force basically said, oh, hey, we'll just cruise right up on alongside these Italian cruisers. They won't see a thing. And they didn't, because it was like three in the morning, and, well, the Italians didn't have radar. The British did. Needless to say, it was a slaughter, and before anybody uh, start jumping on me for pounding on this one. Remember, I had relatives on both sides of that goddamn battle. Okay? So, yeah. I can say it was a slaughter. Didn't matter who lost, I was going to lose relatives. It ended up being one side, not the other side. Anyway, so let's take a look at the radar rangefinder in the game. It says, you know, revolutionary detection system, blah, 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 blah. Okay, 150% tower spotting. That's nice. Um, plus 5% surface visibility. Well, yeah, it sticks up a bit. Um, it adds a bit of weight to the main tower, adds a bit of weight to the secondary tower, adds a heck of a lot of cost. Um, adds cost to the guns because you have to change the systems to be able to transmit the data from the radar to the control shack down to the guns to aim them. Uh, I've actually got radar generation 2 which is great. That means I can actually, radar generation 1 you could use it to see where a ship was. Generation 2 you can use it for fire control. It's more precise. So I've got 150% gun aiming speed plus 45% long-range accuracy, minus 10% accuracy penalty at night. Get that, guys. My accuracy penalty drops at night considerably. Minus 45 from shell splashes. Hey, I'm not going by visuals. Minus 65 by shell splashes from well, its own guns and other guns. 150% reconnaissance. I can see through rain. So, what's it going to do? Well, uh, we'll go through all the usual stuff. Okay, I lost three shards of worship. Sorry, I'm playing Italy this time. And Panama Canal just got finished. As you may have gathered, I'm in a bit of a fight here. Um, that's nothing unusual. It... <laughs> in this game, staying out of fights is unusual. So, let's go to ship design. And we will take... Uh, Oh, what's the ship that I know I've got a bunch of in stock? Sorry, I got a Napoli. That's not, that's the one I want. Napoli. Why do I want the Napoli? For a very simple reason. The Napoli's an actual dreadnought. Some of the other battleships I have are older and they aren't. So. Let's turn around and refit the Napoli with radar. So 
it says I've only got Gen 1. Well, all right. Um, all right, I don't need to change anything there or there. Good. That's good. So, that's the only part of the only upgrade I'm going to make. Single thing. It's going to take two months, but hey, what the heck. And if I'm going to upgrade that baby, I might as well upgrade something smaller, which might just finish quicker. And what do we have? We've got a bunch of Roma class light cruisers out there. So let's refit the Roma class with radar. Again, that's the only change I'm going to make. So this is nice and quick. No, it's still two months. Okay. Let's go up and see if I refit radar onto a destroyer. Um, that's a destroyer I know I've got a lot of. And let's just hope it doesn't put it overweight. I knew it. Okay, what do we get rid of? What do we get rid of? Okay, I can always cut down a bit on the superstructure. There. Now, the destroyers are going to take one month. Good. So. I'll wait for the computer. Really could use a better computer. Mind you, I did make one change to it. I took out the old uh, standard SSD drive and stuck it in NVMe. Things load way faster now. Unfortunately, it doesn't do much as far as the graphics and processor performance is concerned. And that may be partly my fault. I should go in and check graphic settings. Because I know I turned them up at one point just to see what it looked like. And I don't think it made that much of a difference. Okay, here we are. Let's, let's go here. Settings. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, let's see. Reset. Oh, it's not going to change. Let's change it to medium and see if that makes any difference. And close. So. Refit. All oh, right, I've got to check and see how much money I've got this month. I got three million. Refit. So I can probably refit the entire batch of them. And once I have, we shall see some really interesting reactions when I send some of these ships out. Okay, I should do... Oh, there's only one of them. I thought I had a lot of those cruisers. Oh, I bet I know what's happened. I bet I haven't finished upgrading to that standard yet. <laughs> uh, no, it looks like I did. No idea. Anyway, we've got a couple of ships building, so let's just go with that. I'll find where one of the ones that has been uh, upgraded is ended up. And 
and send it and every ship in that port out looking for trouble. I can usually find trouble. Another uh, yeah, I'll agree. Let's see if I can get some territory out of it. Obviously, the United States didn't like me um, dropping, uh, trying to. Uh, <coughs> gain an advantage there, so, well, that happens. Okay, I'll do a couple more of these. Well, it's almost all of them anyway. I thought there was more of that class. Oh, well. I need to go back through and do a uh, re-evaluation of my fleet and make sure that I'm scrapping some of the older ships because when you run a game or you're running a very advanced technology, your ships are changing so fast that anything that's three or four years old is totally out of date. Oh, okay. I think we finished the next phase of shipyard expansion. Otherwise, I can't see why we're about to be balanced with jump so much. Oh, come on, build the ships. Yeah, I know, I'm impatient. Okay, let's see what the peace deal says. Oh, do you think they were going to offer me the Madagascar? Forget it, I'll take the cash. Their ships aren't that good. Okay. So, where is the Napoli fleet? Oh, it's got one month left. Okay. well check to make sure that all of the upgrade oh that's why I got a bunch of upgrades that I didn't finish doing probably because I was short on money at that time because I'm always putting all my money into research. Which means it limits my fleet size. On the other hand, my fleet tends to be pretty darn good. 421, okay, cancel. Let's cut this down to... Oh, let's do a six-month one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so... I'm going to run a turn to get Napoli finished. It's sitting in Palermo. Now, 
now, considering my dad's side of the family is from Italy, I should know where Palermo is, but I don't. I think it's on the West Coast, but. Ouch. Yeah, this is running a bit slower than I like. Sorry, folks. Obviously, it isn't the graphics that were the issue. Nope. Oh, good, here we are. Nice. Okay. Well, that really applies to me. No, oh, there's Palermo. Okay. Now, but at the same time, I have to find Naples, Messina, Gate, okay, Naples. Messina. Okay. I guess no ship was over there that I shouldn't have any issues. And some of the ones that do go there have radar. Now, this is very much like a satellite view. We can see the ships, but, you know, okay. High command can say, okay, we know there are ships here. You go there. But then the guys on the uh, in the ships actually have to be able to see what they're uh, fighting. And that's where my sudden technological advantage. Oh, finally, I can start building submarines. That'll be a joy. I'm sure my, uh, oh, good. I'm going to make more money. Ptolemy, Uganda. Okay. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. Um, going over to the politics tab, you'll see that I've got seven small allies. This is quite nice because they loan me ships when I get into fights. And they buy ships. And they buy ships. And they buy ships. Which is quite hilarious. What else is hilarious is fighting Britain and finding out that one of your allies, before they were an ally with you, was an ally with Britain, has a whole pile of British ships. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can get these guys since the other one disappeared. I'm closer this time, so the odds are that I just might be able to. At the same time, let's go in here. 
and cause some more refits through quick. Because, well, hey, got to keep doing those refits. And that's why the other I couldn't find. Okay. Refit. Oh, a couple. Oh, there's some one of those that needs refitting. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think I'm spending enough now. We'll just refit those. Oh, good. Another battleship's joining the fleet. Which means my monthly balance went up because I was doing... <clears throat> well, it was a commissioning ceremony, which means that I really can't spend a heck of a lot more on stuff because, well... Five more ships to commission. Oh, it looks like we've got a meeting. Yeah. Finally, we get to test it. Oh, okay, well. Not really a very fair battle. But we'll try it. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, I'm, it's total slaughter, but hey. To the north, okay. Let's do some quick settings here. This is me. I like battles ending quick, so I tend to set everything to aggressive. Okay. So you like cruisers? Under screen, yep. All right. Aggressive. Aggressive. Now, what do we got here? Four destroyers. We change that from screen to sail. Because I found out a long time ago that when you try and change it off of screen, it does weird, weird things. And then we'll put that one on automatic, so it'll just take off like a scared rabbit. And... This is two more destroyers. Put them also on scout. Now, the reason I'm putting everybody on scout is because I want to know where the heck these people are. Okay. Now. Change this to, oops, scout, there. Good. Let's go. Come on, change direction. Why well, won't it change direction? I hate it when it does that. Okay. Fine. Well, 
Why is it not going north? Where'd everybody else go? Okay, that didn't work out quite the way it was supposed to. Yeesh. I have no idea what happened there. All of a sudden, I just couldn't control the ship. Oh, here we go again. Wait, 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 wait. I really do need a faster computer. What's really funny is this game actually runs marginally faster on the Mac. Yeah, running under parallels on Windows 11. Okay, build some monster destroyers. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, let's try this again. I'll just sit, sit, sit in the same spot. That's good enough. But I will, however, oh, I can't change them to. Oh, they already are. Okay. Sorry. <coughs> One of the things you have to do is you have to change ship sometimes to. Uh, new ships to um, from in being to sea control and shells. Looks like I'm getting something new. What is it? Okay, high capacity, high explosive. Okay, useful. Okay, back to. Hold on a sec. Politics. We got six million right now. So one of these there. Problem is you have to do every refit in order. You can't um, double up. Which really sucks. But hey. That's the way the game was designed. I mean, in theory, you should be able to do two refits at once. Note that I said in theory. And, oh, plenty of money left. So... Let's refit the remaining four Napoli class ships. And, and, yep. Those are the ones that I actually didn't fully upgrade before. And I can now stick radar on the whole dang bunch of them. Which means my fleet all of a sudden just became way more dangerous. Now, in real life, often when new systems came into place, there just weren't enough of them to pull this sort of refits. Yeah, new system, new production lines. Uh, this game is very realistic in a lot of ways. That's one of the things that it doesn't get. Um, it just, you know, something new shouldn't be that easily available right at the start. But, hey, 
still love the game. It's so much fun. Okay, let's see if I can <coughs> get in a fight. This time I'll just tell it auto just to auto uh, fight. And okay, there's a straggle. That's it. There's also a convoy. We'll have to see which uh, ships are involved with the convoy. Now, in a lot of cases, my ships don't necessarily have the biggest guns or the most guns. Uh, let's take a look. Arethusa, three six-inch guns. Warspite, four 7.7-inch guns. Now, I think that... Oh, we got one ship there with radar. Yeah, one ship with radar. So let's see what happens. We'll just hit auto resolve. Eh, marginal win. Just a second here. Two destroyers got sank. And the destroyer that had the radar got sank. Oh, well. Ah. I'll set the radar to more ships, that's all. Does that one have radar? No, it doesn't. That's an earlier one that can't be retrofitted with radar. Ooh, I got hurt that time. Now, what's he got? Two 5.1 inch, four... 1.6 inch. Ah, uh, yeah, this was the particular one that only had two 4.5 inch guns. No wonder I lost. That actually is a design that I've been wanting to get rid of and I'm going to get rid of. Anyway, um, but right now I want to get into another fight. So we can see what happens. Let's get in here. Oh, yeah. The British are running a conga line down the coast. I wonder if I go right here. If that'll put me in a nice spot to block them. That'd be good. Let's see what happens. Right, we get a fight. Probably. Well, I hope anyway. <coughs> yep, looks like we got a fight. Yeah. Now, yeah, let's take a look here. Notice that his battleship is heavier than mine. I've got three dual 12.5 inch turrets. He's got two dual 13.1 inch turrets. Okay. Six 10.8 inch guns, or sorry, 12 10.8 inch guns. Uh, I'm down to, yeah, okay, this is a little bit, but I have two battleships. Okay, you know, I think this is a winner. But rather than try and fight it the other way, because last time around, the controls didn't work, I'm just going to go automatic. Oh, got counted as a defeat. I lost a late cruiser and two destroyers. 
It looks like they lost two destroyers. Okay, yeah. That's a defeat. Uh, this isn't working out the way I'd hoped. Well, I'm just going to shut it down, folks, and continue playing because, hey, I'm addicted to this stupid game. <laughs> anyway, have fun.